here is a prime example of how much fuel 87 octane we're going to put in here. outside <laughs> how many of you guys actually try to sneak in a ride in the winter time when these colder months yeah like like me for example we're supposed to be getting a snowstorm this weekend there's a couple of days of cold weather like today but the roads are clear and clean maybe a little bit of wet from our previous rain that still hasn't dried up because it's been cold but other than that, the roads ain't terrible. It's a little on the chilly side and you decide that you're going to go for a ride. I think we've all done that at some point, right? I was just going to go around you guys. Maybe I'll just go up this road. Oh, car accident. Jeez. Uh -oh. Right, so it's cold. And you go for a ride because you're trying to get some miles in, some uh, wind therapy, or in this case, freeze your hands therapy. I should have brought my uh, heating gloves that I bought at Timu. <laughs> I was thinking, ah, oh, it's in the 40s, I won't need it. Man, am I, regret am I regretting that decision? We all go for these little rips. I think, we, like I said, we've all done it. I do it every, whenever I can. Even if it's like for an hour or whatever, and what usually ends up happening is... Well, let me explain something. So, you go for that ride, and if you are um, like me, you never want to leave your gas tank somewhat partially empty. You want to fill that thing as, as, as far up as you can, right? So sometimes you're at, I don't know, quarter tank, a little less than a quarter tank which uh, is probably a gallon or so. You know, you're thinking, all right, I'm gonna go put it away. I'm gonna go top it off to put it away, right? So you get to the fueling station. Not that I'm gonna refuel now, but I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. You pull into the fueling station so you can top off your vehicle, or your bike, I should say. You know, that the Harley Davidsons require the best of the best gasoline. Yeah, we we call it 93. Actually, it's 91. Dead dinosaurs. 91 octane. But since we have 93 over here, I think mostly everybody around here puts the 93. So you get to the gas pump. Actually, I'll pick it up when we get to the other gas station over there. I should have just pulled in. Uh, that one's full. Oh my gosh, these are the longest lights. How's it going? Look, we finally made it to the gas station. Right, so you guys pull up to the gas station. You're like, all right, I'm going to go top this bad boy off. You want to screw that? You put your card in, do your prepayment, hit 93. You pump the gas, right? You're pumping the gas. Maybe you get a gallon out of there, right? You're like, whoo -hoo. Got my baby all fueled up and topped off. You put the thing away. Hop on your bike and skedaddle. Right, so... How much gas do you think is in this hose? And wherever it leads to before you actually get the 93 octane. Right? How much gas are you putting into your bike that you pay for a high octane that you're getting a regular octane? Probably close to a gallon, I would say. Right? Half a gallon? A gallon? So you do that a couple times <laughs> throughout the season, 
lo and behold, what do you got? You got a tank full of regular fuel. <laughs> what? Has any of you guys ever thought about that? That just hit me recently. Because last time I put gas in this, fuel, well actually, prior to this ride, I went out for a ride, topped it off, and um, today I went to go start it, and I'm like, why does that, why am I smelling fuel? Like unburnt fuel. And then it hit me. I'm like, I don't know if that's the reason why I'm smelling unburnt fuel. I think I just got a, a bad tuner. I need to get another tuner. But then I, I was thinking like, there's a good chance that half of this tank, because I've taken it out a couple of times here and there, where uh, I only put a quarter tank of fuel in it, a gallon or two, if that, I never put two gallons in yet. So uh, it's at least always a quarter tank, which is about a, a gallon, like I said. <laughs> a little over a gallon, like maybe one point, I don't know, 1.2 for a quarter tank of fuel on this. I'm putting a lot of 87 octane in this because not many people will run 93 octane in their vehicles, especially with these gas prices. And some vehicles cannot re uh, run on 93 octane unless you got this little four cylinder turbo that requires high octane fuel. But I want to say 80% of the cars out here, everybody puts 87 octane. I'm guessing I got three quarters of my gas tank right now, a good half anyway, is mixed with 87 octane. Huh. Food for thought. Let that blow your mind like it did mine. <laughs> Two hours later. Um, here's a prime example of how much fuel 87 octane we're gonna put in here. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do a quick Google search on this. I was at three quarters of a tank and I always like to top off before I put it away. Less air space in the tank. I guess less room for condensation. That's how it works, right? <gasps> Gallon and a half. Bet you half of that is 87 octane. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do a quick Google search right now. Gas pump holes hold. According to the American Petroleum Institute, one gas pump hole typically retains about one third of a gallon. Oh, okay, so it's less than half. So the odds are still not that bad. I mean, one third of a gallon. So you fill up a couple of times during the winter. So one third of that gallon, I just put three quarters of a gallon of a, what is that? What, three quarters of a gallon? Three quarters of a gallon of 87 octane possibly. Why? Why, Fred? Why? That's if the person before me put 87 octane in. There you have it. So I was actually considering getting a, a octane booster just for the winter riding. Just put a, I don't know, little drops and a couple of ounces here or there with every uh, gallon of fuel that I put in obviously I would read what's recommended on the bottle or I would do a little bit more research before I actually went down that road but anyway I would add if I'm thinking about adding uh, a little bit of octane booster into my fuel you're like thinking well what does that do or like what, what's the big deal you know it's it's it can be a big deal because if you're putting low octane fuel in your bike and you end up with a tank full of low octane fuel, it wouldn't be the end of it. But you would definitely feel it. And that can't be too healthy for the bike, right? That, that's my thoughts on the fuel. Anyway, my name is Pete. They call me Scooby. Hope you all enjoyed this video. You found this informative. Let me know if you guys use uh, octane booster in your fuel. 
And if so, how much do you put in or how much do you mix in? Because I'm really curious to know. Or do you just put it away for the winter and call it a day? I, I get the, uh, I don't know, man. I can't put my bike away. I get really upset when we get snow. Like we're going to get snow this weekend. So what they're going to do is they're going to salt the roads, of course, because we want to keep everybody safe. But that salt is going to linger around for so long and then I won't be able to ride my bike because I don't ride it when it's salty. I've done it once before. Accidentally, if I'm not mistaken, I know I've done it before. Actually, well, I did I, when I went to Freetown because they, they, they salted their roads up there. The next town over, we didn't get anything to salt over, but they did. And I wasn't aware of that. <clears throat> so anyway, guys, that's my whole uh, thing on the uh, fuel issues for the winter. Winter riding, I thought that guy was waving at me. <laughs> hello, hello, he's cleaning his windshield. Anyway guys, hit that like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for future content. I got more uh, ideas coming and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.